similar fashion to that, what they would do out there is um, they would come by and if they were picking up your trash, and it was waste management who actually picked it up um, on behalf of, they had a contract with the city. And what they were doing out there is if they recognized a situation like that, they had a, basically a tag, a sticker that they would put on your trash and they would not pick up your trash um, if they identified that. And of course that's something that, um, and Ron can mention that as well, and Brian, we talked about um, during this Kaizen event, one of the things we'll look at is establishing some policies and some guidelines that we would want the council to review and one of the things that we were going to discuss was uh, doing some samplings of some of the bags that we're currently picking up to make determinations on exactly how much recycling is actually ending up out of there. So don't take that as a warning or anything, but uh, we will be coming and taking a look. But well, John's pretty good at that. But yeah. <laughs> Adam, could you explain to us and the public, you know, the, <clears throat> the Kaizen process that you're referring to that that's yeah, been a little non-government people. And and the fact that so oftentimes at the follow-up of the second, third, and sixth, and twelfth month, oftentimes that's where it falls off. So if you could uh, Kaizening is a uh, is a concept that's being used very heavily in manufacturing right now and it's starting to bleed over into other entities. Government, the state of Iowa for instance, is starting to convert it into their use for efficiency purposes. What it basically is is a program where you involve all the stakeholders for a particular segment. And you look at processes, you look at activities, you look at training, uh, you look at every aspect at ways to improve on the current processes you have. Um, those who used to work in the private sector probably heard of the term total quality management. This is kind of the new stage version of that type of concept. And uh, one of the things that this system is designed to do, and one of the things that you see all the time is, is that people will take steps to improve processes. And well, you'll see a 30 or 40 percent savings. And then six months later, you're right back where you originally began. And this program was developed by um, an American, Mr. Fleming, and actually ended up over in Toyota, in Japan, um, before it actually made its way back over here. Um, they incorporated his program over there and were able to turn uh, Toyota and they were able to improve profitability at Toyota by almost 90% over a four year period of time. Um, so so uh, um, there is uh, some opportunity to use our garbage process, our trash and recycling process as a model for this, using this type of technique inside of government services. Do you think it would be useful in the other departments as well? Yes. Anything else? Any other discussions? We need this daycare tomorrow or to look at the roof and or talk about building out the new roof, putting out the new roof. And the park board will start talking about roof specs for the Chautauqua building at their next meeting uh, next week. With going back to the uh, uh, or the solid waste uh, the garbage, I think we need to really look at the commercial things. I had uh, one person report to me that one commercial user couldn't believe how, how, how much was loaded into the truck, and uh, I was surprised that they even got it all in in order to, to haul it you know, directly to the landfill. And, uh, and considering what a lot of the commercial rates are, they're really being considerably underbilled. Uh, so I think we have to look at that as one of our ways to really quit picking up the slack on this uh, uh, you know, solid waste. One of the most significant savings, and it's one that's somewhat ignored, is, is that one of the most significant savings you can make is actually through, redu for, through getting your recycling out of your trash. The more you do of that, the more profitable process becomes. But then one commercial people, person tell me you want to keep the city because the trash rate is so cheap you can't believe it. So. And I had some say they pay up more to keep it, the city doing it. So. But I think we still need to look at the business and if we need assistance and some commercial rates, I think we've got two people here. You could hopefully they volunteer and say, what would it cost? You still think you look at the business and look at it again next year. 
Any further discussion? I call for a motion for adjournment. I'll so move. Second. Call for a vote. Councilor Trigger? Yes. Hampton? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Brady? Yes. Mr. Carey? Thank you.